Good afternoon, guardians, parents, and learners. I hope you're all doing well and staying happy and healthy. My name is Miss Brenner, and I'm here to talk to you today about your student's science fiction course for language arts. We're going to be taking an online tour. We'll also be talking about the red phase schedule, the assignments that are going to be available during week one, and how to pick up assignments and materials for home hybrid learners. So at the top of our Schoology page, we have six different colored buttons. The first one is a red button that says red face schedule inside of it. Within that document, you will find this information that goes over the red face schedule. So as far as red, red face schedule goes, from 7.50 to 9, students are asynchronous and should be completing assignments on Schoology or missing assignments. From 9 to 10 is block 1, and then from 10.05 to 11.05 is block 2. If your student is in science fiction, they will be attending block 1. They then have lunch, then from 12 to 1, they have block 3, and from 105 to 205, they have block 4. From 205 to 250 is another asynchronous period. Students can come visit me for a time for support, and also if they need to answer questions during that time through Zoom. The way that they would access our regular scheduled Zoom class period would be using the orange button that says Home Hybrid Zoom. Also, if your student is completely using Zoom for their education this year, they would also use that orange button that says Home Hybrid Zoom. As far as my office hours, if it is a red phase day, I'm available from 2.05 to 2.50, and I am also available on Wednesdays when we are asynchronous from 10 to 11 using that mint colored button through Zoom. In the purple button is our MCSD streaming notice, which goes over uh, expected use for computer technology, as well as proper use of the Zoom platform, netiquette, and privacy information for our students. So please make sure that as a family, you read that over. As far as barren news, that is available in the maroon button. This is our YouTube channel that informs you on a daily basis as to what is happening within the district. Uh, I highly recommend that students look at our Barron News YouTube channel. I also encourage that families look at it. Uh, the Barron News is very interesting, especially because at this time I understand several students feel as if um, it's harder to connect because of technology and not seeing people face to face. So it's nice to be able to keep in touch through Barron News so that way students are aware of different activities that are happening in the school district. As far as our weekly agenda, that can be found in this uh, bluish purple button that says weekly agenda. Now, I understand that our schedule may change because of red phase schedule, snow days, and other such things, so please be lenient in understanding that the weekly agenda may change and you will be updated on a regular basis. Uh, however, I try to give an overview of what's happening every week consistently, and so therefore I post that in that purple button, but also at the top of every single week. So if you should ever uh, maybe be absent for a longer period of time, you can go back and see weekly agendas so that way you get a refresher as to what happened the week prior. Alrighty. As far as our folders at the top of our Schoology page, there is a red subfolder. That is the folder that is used if I should ever be absent for any reason. Uh, all materials for a substitute day would be found there, along with a video that goes over how to complete the materials for while I am absent. In the green folder are all of our materials as far as the learner family streaming notice and our school tour, or sorry, not school tour, classroom tour, along with a welcome video and phase changes that goes over the green, yellow, and red phases for the district. If you are not able, for some reason, to access the Zoom sessions through the buttons at the top of the Schoology page, maybe the internet is just running slow and they're not running, and they're not running pop, pop early, sorry. Uh, then you can access them here. So there is our regular hub, hub, home hybrid Zoom along with our Wednesday office hours and our red phase. Every student reads for 15 minutes a day in our science fiction course, and so they will log their silent reading here. This is a requirement for the course as well for graduation. Students are reading anything of their choosing as long as of a literary standing, and they will log their silent reading in these tracking sheets, and therefore I will record it to support 
their academic success. And then lastly, let's talk about the assignments for week one. In week one, students are going to be working on uh, not only learning how to use the technology that is available in Schoology, such as recorders and slide sets and accessing uh, their grades and such, but they will also be telling me a little bit about them. So in order to encompass all of that learning, we have a couple videos as far as welcoming students to the class, going over the classroom tour, and then a rubric and direction set on how they can complete their own video, where they will complete a slide set and then record themselves and post it so that way they can have a discussion with their other class members. That is the first assignment for week one. On Wednesday, when students are asynchronous, they will be finishing up their videos and slide sets to post so that way students can view them and they will be completing a creative writing prompt. There are four different prompts and students will complete one. Then to finish out the week, we have a set of course information that includes their netiquette guide, acceptable use policy, course description and overview, course syllabus, and in order to make sure that students fully understand, um, I not only provide the PDFs, but along with a video where I read it, and then there's a syllabus quiz. Students will also, just like I was saying before, since they are logging their silent reading, they are also going to take several quizzes. These quizzes are uh, not specifically to be graded on accuracy, but graded on participation. They reflect a student's reading level along with uh, knowledge of vocabulary, so that way we can best assist them to find literary pieces that would interest them. And that is everything for week one that students will be completing. As far as attendance, students will either be zooming into class through Home Hybrid or they will be coming in face-to-face -face, uh, four days a week. And then on Wednesday, in order to show attendance, students must complete the assignments that are listed uh, in the Wednesday folder. Alrighty, as far as uh, Home Hybrid students picking up materials, if you are a Home Hybrid family, you will need to send me an email so that way I am aware and I can package up all materials that your student should need and place them in the office. The pickup day is the 27th of January in order to start receiving uh, materials for your classes. You can pick them up any day after the 27th of January. Alrighty, I hope that you all stay happy and healthy. Once again, my name is Miss Brenner and my email is B-R-E-N-N-E-R-S. If you would like to send me an email and ask any questions, it is a Friday, so please just be aware we are headed into the weekend. It might be till Monday that I get back to you, but I look forward to hearing from you. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.